Greetings, my fellow intellectuals and bookworms. Today, I have a very special surprise for you. It's going to be a survive, surprise book review this week. I have a lot in line. I'm going to do at least one book review and a surprise political vi video. If you notice, I kind of have a beard going. I think it looks dope as fuck, and it looks like... And it makes me look like one badass motherfucker. But my parents basically don't like it. And since I'm going to go visit my Aunt Maryland, who's like 95 in Arizona, and I haven't seen her in years, I figured I might as well make a good impression. So I'll cut it all off, even though I don't want to. My shaver ran, electric shaver ran out of electricity beforehand, so I may look weird. Just excuse that. So today we're going to be reviewing the book, The Compound. By S.A. Bowden, it looks like. Um, I reread it. I mean, I'm somewhat mixed. My review is going to be pretty mixed on it. First of all, it's a survival book, right? It's about this kid, right? Who, his father is a wealthy businessman who has like billions of dollars. And, and... It seems like nuclear war has happened and everyone's dead, right? So they're hush, hush, trapped in this compound underground in the middle of nowhere for like 10 years. And the father goes insane at the very beginning and no one knows it yet, though. So I feel like it capture, captures a lot of how to survive SHTF. Which, if you don't know what that stands for, shit hits the fan. It's a common prepper term, and I've done some videos on prepping. So, I feel like this book review can also tie it together to some of my other common videos. But, in addition to surprise political, one, political ones. But, anywho, it turns out that the apocalypse never happened. It's just, what's his name? Rex Yanukis or something? I don't fucking know. Yanaquis. The name is damn near impossible to pronounce. And I don't really give a fuck to begin with. But anywho, um, he goes insane, wishing to kidnap his kids and spend unlimited time with them. So he builds a survival bunker, basically kidnaps the kids and parents and tells them that everything went to shit and everyone nuked each other. And the kid eventually finds out, and it... And they get rescued, but only after a fight with the kid's father and blah, blah, blah. And the kid's father um, sets it up so with the people who designed it, um, things go wrong. The food supply was contaminated with ergot, which is a fungal po a fungus that sometimes used to grow on wheat. Almost never happens in America. Because we have good systems. Our food system is normally fucked. But at least we can say. Well. At least we don't have ergot poisoning. Basically. It's kind of chemically similar to LSD. Only. If you inadvertently ingested it. You would trip. Basically balls. Be high as fuck. And. You would be bleeding. You would be bleeding out of every orifice. You'd be shitting. You'd be vomiting, you'd be having nausea, would be coming out both ends. Uh, then you would die, basically. So, not very fun. Luckily, we don't... Well, it turns out that that happened to the father, so he's already insane, right? And he goes even more insane. So, and then at the very end, they said a very obvious trying to get a sequel... Which, as far as I can tell, there isn't a sequel. Which I'm kind of glad for because the book was... Ah, it was okay. It wasn't dog... It wasn't the shittiest it could be, but it wasn't the best it could be. So, for example, the father is addicted to antacid. So he's taking Tums, like, out the fucking wazoo. And then... So they go to Hawaii to hide from the press while they tell the public that they're going to Colorado. And a roll of Tums washes up on the beach and they're like... And the kid is like, ah, I'm not going to alert, alert my family because I don't want them to panic even since they just got out of it. But if you ask me, the kid is fucking irresponsible as fuck. Um, he's putting his entire family at danger by not telling them that their father could possibly be back. And 
But anywho, um, I would say the this book kind of seems like it was written for like 8 to 12 year olds. The chapters are short, but the book is more than 200 pages long, so it's obviously supposed to be long. But the chapters are short, so it seems like it's written for 8 to 12 year olds. The words are easy. There's only a few that you need to look up, but for the most part, it's just it just oversimplifies anything. But I feel like if any if it anything it did right, it captures basically the psychology of survival, if you will. It says that some people just might not be cut up cut out for surviving in the apocalypse. They might just go insane. Only the kicker here is he goes insane before the apocalypse. So as a final thought for my review, I'm gonna say basically I give it two and a half stars. It's okay. But it's not something to write home about. I mean, I'm kind of on the fence about getting rid of it. It carries some good lessons, but it's really boring as fuck to read. Pros are not good. The book is not really good. Uh, never read a book by S.A. Gooden is basically what I can say. And... Although it captures the lessons that I want to get out, you can pretty much get the lessons of survival just by reading my vi by watching this video and taking notes. So I'd give it two and a half out of five stars for an okay rating. I would not recommend that you actually buy this book. It's not worth it. I would not suggest you buy it off of Amazon and Barnes and Noble. And if you have it, I suggest you immediately throw it on the donate pile. That's maybe why I got it as a donation from the library bookstore for dirt cheap. Because someone else is like, this book is shitty. Anywho, sorry for j basically jumping in and zooming in when I wish to basically shout something and emphasize something. If you don't like it, I'll not do it next time. But like, comment, and subscribe if you have not done so. This is Sean Hartnett from the channel Sean Hartnett wishing you... A happy weekend, and today will be a double upload day, which is a surprise, so I'll also do a video on a geopolitical article I read. Alright, bye.